how to control machines remotely via IPMI. First we need to install this IPMI tool utility. So if you are using Ubuntu, you can install this IPMI tool utility using this command apt-get install IPMI tool. So after, after that, using this IPMI tool, we can actually restart our remote system. So in this IPMI tool command, we have to specify the ILO IP here, then the ILO username and ILO password. Then here you can see the command subcommand mc then mc reset warm so there is two type of reset warm and cold so if you want to do the warm reset you can do like this and this is an example of cold reset so when you execute this command your remote system in this case this is the IP of the remote system the remote system will get reboot so you can do a lot of things using this IPMA tool so this IPMA tool also providing an interactive shell to open that shell you can execute this command the uh, shell so I will show you an example. So here I already opened uh, this IPMI tool interactive shell. So here in shell, here you can type help to to see all the commands. So here you can see lot of commands. So if you want to check this command chassis then status so you can see the status of those that chassis power is on overload faults so the total lot of information you can see here so you can also manage the power you can use this power option you can do power on power off you can also check the current power status it's on you can do reset So there is lot of options. I am not going to cover all those, all those things. You can try it. So if you use this FRE command, you will get um, all system information. And if you, you can use user to list all ILO users. Then this MC MC we already discussed. So this one. This MC. MC reset wa warm and MC reset cold. So that you can do using this MC. So to MC. So you can do MC reset warm or cold. That also has a lot of options. You can try it. So this way you can manage your remote system using this IPMI tool.